was a long time ago for me. Uh, so it's hard to say mm -hmm. what the trends are kind of writ large. Um, anecdotally, I can tell you um, schools like a Stanford or schools like a Babson, right, um, tend to skew a little more entrepreneurial. Uh, and so you have people who are there who wind up starting their own organizations, their own companies, their own division, making their own products. Um, and, you know, my anecdotal data is skewed. Uh, several of my friends went off to start their companies. Several of them have had liquidity events or, you know, nice exits and several of them have failed. Um, but I, I think, uh, you know, the, the type of person who goes and pursues her MBA is a person who is ambitious, who's obviously smart, driven, um, and, and has something that, that she's looking to accomplish. Uh, and so that may be in finance or that may be in going back to the organization. I mean, if you look at the data, I would not be surprised if, you know, the, the short-term trend, like zero to three years or zero to five years out, out of MBA are people returning to where they were before, either because of a promotion or because the organization was paying for their degree or whatever, you know, varying reasons. That would not surprise me. But if you look on a, a midterm horizon, which would be, you know, five plus years afterwards, I would say, you know, a, a good way to maybe gauge that for you, um, or for me, if I had the data, it would be to go back, look at people's personal statement and see if when they said, hey, I want to go to business school to accomplish this thing, blankety, blankety, blank, five years out, did they do it? Did they go there or did they, or was it divergent or was it convergent? 